You know those ads that you get on Instagram from brands that seem to just haunt and follow you endlessly? This video is about one of those brands in particular because I just felt the need to investigate. Hi, I'm Lucy and if you're new here, I love pretty things. And what I love even more than pretty things is pretty things that are actually also good because surprisingly, those two things are often not always the same. And I wanna dive into this particular brand that I have been getting so many ads for, so many pretty things. It is this brand on Instagram I have seen called Philly Boo and they have the most aesthetic looking clothes, very princessy aesthetic, ballet core kind of coquette vibes. And I kept getting a few different ads for them, but I kept getting this one in particular with this sort of like silky, ribbony kind of collection. And it's just like, it's exactly what I like. Because when I finally actually clicked through to the brand and went to their website and did some investigating, I found out <laughs> It's 100% silk. And if you know me, I go a little feral for a good silk piece. There's just something about it. I went down the wormhole. I'm looking at the website and I'm trying to find reviews. I feel like a lot of us look for reviews when we come across a new brand. And to be honest, I couldn't really find that many reviews. There were none on YouTube. There were like very few on TikTok. And there were some tagged pictures on Instagram. Like, you know, it was people's cute birthday pictures, which they all look super cute. But I need to know more. And this brand has around 300,000 Instagram followers and the girlies just, the girlies aren't talking. And so I have taken it upon myself to be the girly that talks. I mean, I'm kind of always the girly that talks, but at least I'm semi self-aware about that. So let's together look at the Philly Boo website and pick out something adorable to try. I feel like we should just go for new arrivals and sort of go from there. Even the campaign imagery and everything is just so pretty. It's kind of like cottage quarry, but it's like not totally like foresty. Cottage Corey. You know, it's like Cottage Core, but they still have like an Uber Eats delivery radius. I'm just really excited. Like, I just feel like their stuff is just very me. The ads were targeted to the right person. Whoever was doing that paid media, good job, because you, you got me. Okay, so I think this one here is one of the ones from the ad or from the collection that the ad was, because I remember seeing this. This is the style. This is the Chantilly set in Primrose. And as you can see, it is 445 Australian dollars. Now I believe the brand is Australian. Actually, that is what the About Us page is usually for. It says their orders are shipped from Sydney and they have a factory in Bali, Indonesia, which I know a lot of small Australian brands do tend to manufacture in Bali. I'm not 100% sure if this brand is a small brand, but I kind of assume they're a small brand. So I could be wrong on that. It does say though that their collection are handmade in small quantities. So to me, that's giving a small brand. But yes, this set is 445 Australian dollars. And not gonna lie, the first time I saw that, I was a bit like, but in looking at the details about this piece, it is 100% silk satin. This is also a set of both the top and the skirt. And I feel like we all have different definitions of what affordable is. I would definitely say this is not inexpensive, but considering this comes from a smaller brand and it is a bit more of a premium material. And because also like the designs are quite intricate, I can totally see why the price point is what it is. I don't know, I'm very enchanted by it. It's very beautiful. The silk, the lace, the ribbons, it's just delectable. I really, really like this one. I kind of want to get this one, maybe, but we'll have a look at some other ones. These ones aren't as much my thing. I'm really into the frothy princessy stuff, but they do have some darker kind of styles as well. But that one there seems to be like the short version of that. I do really like the lace detailing, like the corset side thing on the mini skirt. These are cute too. I feel like strapless dresses have been popular recently. In particular, um, the With Jean ones are really pretty and kind of like a similar sort of vibe, but this one is like a different take on it, which I actually also really like. And just out of interest, a lot of brands make them either out of cotton or again, like a polyester spandex. So I wonder what they make theirs from. Okay, these are also made from a silk satin. Okay, slay. I feel like recently I've just seen such an influx of these kind of more girly princessy dresses, which is so exciting and I love it. But I have been sort of disappointed by how many of them are made of polyester. Not that I'm 100% against polyester because I'm not in all cases. I know there are some times where polyester is good for performance, like in active wear, you know, synthetics just make sense. Or when you're trying to achieve certain design effects or for like special occasion wear, like I, I get it. But sometimes when I see like a casual day-to-day -day piece and I'm like, that could have been made out of cotton, but you made it out of polyester, I do have to side eye. Okay, this dress is really cute too. This is the Vienna camisole mini dress. I think this is so, so cute. I feel like this would look so cute on a lot of people, but they say this one is made of 100% cotton. 
and this one is 275 so it's a little bit cheaper than the other dress we just looked at that was made of a silk satin and that makes sense that's nice to see and then let's have a look at this one this is the sweet pea tambourine mini this is kind of like that embroidery kind of more boho vibe this one has so much really pretty embroidery and i would assume it's custom i'm not 100 percent sure because i am not a garment technician i do not sew I am not crafty in any respect. There's like a lot of mesh going on. And this one is a nylon with soft cotton lining. I feel like that's a good example of what I was talking about. Like that kind of mesh effect, typically to my understanding and limited knowledge, you have to use a synthetic. They've used cotton for the lining, which is nice. They could have used a polyester lining, but they didn't. And I respect that. That's a little bit more on the boho side of my typical vibe, but it's still really gorgeous and pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. Let's look at this one. This is the Florence Maxi Dress in Sky Blue. Ugh, oh, and I really, really love this kind of baby blue color as well. This one is $2.55, which seems a little bit cheaper than some of the other pieces we've seen. And this one is made from a viscose, which makes sense that it's a little bit less. I really like that they are somewhat pricing to material. Okay, this one's a little bit different and also really cute. This is the Dream in Color Bubble Sleeve Mini Dress in Ivory. I don't know why this is giving Alice in Wonderland to me. I think it's because of the sleeves. Ooh, there's like a back cutout. And the embroidery is cute too. It's 100% cotton. Oh, these are pretty too. This is the tiered maxi dress in Angel Falls. And I'm guessing because of the style, it's also 100% silk and it is. I bet like sitting on that would just feel like butter. Okay, I don't normally like this color, but I really like this style. It seems like it's a pant and crop set. This is the latte set. Again, it's sort of similar to the maxi dress. So it's 100% silk. I wish they made it in a different color because sort of like neutrally brown sort of shades aren't really my thing, but I'm glad that they don't make it in another color because then I would be tempted to buy it. And that set is $655. Oh, and they have a mini dress version of that like top and skirt set that I saw before. That's really pretty as well. Okay, I'm having a bit of trouble deciding, but I think I want something from the Chantilly collection because that was the ad that I was served and that got me in the door and as I'm looking it's still I feel like that's the one I'm still very excited by and I think I am just gonna get one piece to try and test today the price point is a little bit on the higher end it's a little above the typical budget I would spend on uh, a video <laughs> this one is coming out of the personal bank of Lucy because I personally really really want this to be good i really want this brand to be good and nice quality and cute and fulfill all of my princess dreams all of the pictures and information believe me to think that will be so but i won't know until i actually get the piece so i'm a little bit nervous and i think i'm gonna go with the chantilly set in primrose the one with the longer skirt they have the shorter skirt sets and they even have like a mini skirt one as well but i feel like i would get the most wear out of this i really like both the separates i love the top and i love the skirt i'm gonna get it in the primrose color i'm a little bit nervous that it might be too similar to my skin color but i do think it is a really nice kind of soft pink and i'm just crossing my fingers that it will work out and next time i see you will be when it arrives and we will try it out together and guess what my favorite color is package is here just covering my address but it just came like this in a little parcel like this i suppose it's only you know the two items i mean it's not really like silk is like the bulkiest of materials but this is it i really really hope i like the color in person because it looks nice online but i just hope it like suits me irl you know what i mean so we have an invoice and a little card and we have the order, which is nicely wrapped in tissue paper. The outside is giving standard package and I guess I was sort of surprised because of like the price point on the items. But in saying that, I don't mind when brands use minimal packaging and I like that they have it kind of like cute inside and simple on the outside. Here it is. Okay. Oh no, I didn't want to break the sticker. Oh no, I did not. I did not unwrap that gracefully. Oh no. Oh my goodness. That color is really, really pretty. I hope it looks good on me, but the color is so pretty. I don't know how to describe it. It's a really, really pretty pink. I mean, you can see on camera, but in real life, the pieces do look really magical and gorgeous. Like look at the back detail with like the buttons and everything. And here's the skirt. It is a tiny little bit crumpled because it's been sitting in a package um, all folded up, but it looks really pretty. You can see the lace on the skirt and how pretty that is. And the top is like an elastic waistband. You can see this on the website, but there's like a ribbony belt on the top. And I thought it was just kind of like 
a loose ribbon wrapped around the waist, but there are actually like little tiny belt hooks. So it's actually a belt. And the actual ribbon is like pretty nice quality, which I'm pleasantly surprised by. I don't know why I'm pleasantly surprised. Like the ribbon should be of nice quality, but they like stitched up the edges of it so it doesn't fray. I really hope I like how it looks on me because I love how it looks not on me. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm just gonna give the skirt a really quick steam and I will be right back. You ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> what do we think? Are we vibing it? Do we like it? What's the thoughts? I just popped my hair up because honestly it was getting a little bit hot in here, but also just so you can see the details better. As always, it's very difficult for me to get a full length shot in this room, so I will include some clips so you can see what it looks like full length. I really, really like the color. I was really, really worried it was going to look too shrimpy, prawny, if you will. You know what I mean? Like it would give like cooked shellfish kind of vibes because sometimes with lighter colored pinks because I am also, as a person, sort of a lighter colored pink. Um, it can look a little funky, but luckily I think it works. It's got like just enough of that kind of blush and like ever so slight dustiness to it that I think it doesn't veer into that kind of like, you know, seafood meat vibe. Also I think because there's like a shine to it texturally, uh, as much as I wish my skin had the kind of shine of silk, it does not. So I think that is also an element. You know, if it was like a flat cotton in this color, that could be a little bit dicey. But yeah, I like this color a lot. I think the color is absolutely gorgeous. Can I just be honest before we get into like, you know, the details and kind of like breaking things down. In terms of like overall vibe from what I expected on the website and what has arrived, I, it, it looks exactly like what it looked like, which, you know, should be a given, but not always when we do these kinds of videos. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous, but just the feel of the material and the design of the clothes, it's just so beautiful. We knew that looking on the website, but actually, you know, having them in person, I'm like, wow, these are gorgeous. But now let's get into some more of the details. The top is a button up back, which I think is another really cute detail. I will say I have little talons on at the moment and I don't have anyone else here right now as I'm filming. So I was a little worried that I wouldn't be able to like do it up properly. But luckily for me, the design of this top, like it's not totally skin tight. So I kind of just like buttoned it up and then spun it around and then pulled the like little shouldery bits over my shouldery bits. <laughs> you will probably notice like as we continue talking or you might've already noticed already that the sleeves kind of like drape and fall off a little bit. Uh, and I think that is just the way they're designed because even on the website, that's how they're styled pretty often. And if that's something that bothers you, I think this top is very much designed to do that. I personally don't mind it. I think it looks cute. I am just wearing very simple undergarments today. It doesn't seem like the people on the website are wearing undergarments up top. I don't think this would have enough support that I would be comfy not doing that. I could probably wear a strapless sort of dealio or a sticky kind of dealio, although I never really enjoy those. But also because this is really like lacy and pretty, I do have some bras with straps that are similarly colored and lacy and pretty that I think would work with this vibe. So I might do that in future, but I just wanted to pick like the most basic, seamless, nothing boring sets for use of this, which is what I always do with these kinds of videos. I think the top is the perfect fit. If you take the ribbon off, there's only these really, really tiny little loops on the side that you can barely see. So I feel like it's, you know, it's a choice. It's up to you. But also just a smidge of user error. When I was steaming the skirt, I didn't think to iron the waist ribbon. So that is my bad. And now onto the skirt. Now, I'm not gonna lie. When I first put the skirt on, I was like, oh no. Like I wasn't 100% sure. I'm still not like 100% sure if I'm being honest because I don't, I don't know 100%. And this is just a classic online shopping pitfall when it would just be handy, you know, like when you shop in person to just try on multiple sizes, but I didn't get multiple sizes. I was just like between the sizes. Uh, and for one of the measurements, it was borderline. And the other one, I was very much in the size that I'm wearing now. So I was like, Mm, and I know we always say to go up. I was pretty confident that the size is my size and I'm still pretty sure it is, but I wouldn't mind seeing what the size up looked like in the skirt just out of interest because it's quite fitted around the hippie boys, which it's sort of like it's silk. So it's going to drape and sort of be over the hippie boys regardless, but whether it's like this fitted or it's a little bit more of like a softer drape, 
would be kind of what I'd be interested to compare. All to say, if you're not sure, maybe size up in the skirt. In saying that, I don't think this size is bad. I'm just like curious. Because initially when I put this on, I was wearing it like kind of high-waisted. And then when I referred again to the images from the website, I did see that they wore it more like mid-waisted, like just below the belly button. And then that made the fit a little bit nicer. Originally when I had it up higher, I had like that kind of bubbling at the back. And I was like, that doesn't look right. But now that it's like sitting properly, I feel like it looks nice, but it is very like slinky. But it also could just be slinky because it's a silky slinky skirt. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I'm not 100% sure on how it looks on the bottom. Let me know what you think. I, I think it's really pretty. However, this is like a, a warning. <laughs> Sorry, that seems like really ominous. And like, I was like, however, I'm like the priest from like Curse of the Were Rabbit, you know, when he was like, Boo you know, like that vibe anyway. As I mentioned before, I'm wearing quite seamless neutral undergarments. Uh, you would want to wear probably the most seamless <laughs> ones you can for this kind of skirt, just because the way silk drapes and because it isn't like a necessarily super thick fabric, you can kind of like see a lot. Potentially either something that has a lot of very like seamless, flawless butt coverage or something that has no butt coverage. But those are just like little points around the garment. They're not really like criticisms per se, but I have another longer silk skirt that is similar to this and I do have to do that as well with that one. But in terms of, you know, being a pretty thing, and is it actually good? I, I think it's actually really good. They're beautiful pieces. They seem really well made. They have all these lovely little details on them. They look exactly like what we looked at on the website. There are no real surprises here. The only thing that's kind of like up for debate is whether or not I feel like the skirt fits me well. And I feel like that's also a very individual thing. You know, it's about my individual meat sack and how it interacts with the pretty thing. And you know, the thing happened that I said I didn't want to happen, which is that I really, really, really like this. I'm already thinking of like so many different ways I could style it, which I feel like for me personally is always a really good indicator of the type of piece that I want to keep. And also this has been living rent free in my brain for way too long. And there are some pretty things that I see that don't live rent free in my brain the way this set has. So that's my review. It's very nice. Always a joyous day in this household when the pretty things actually turn out to be actually good. And now I am officially in the danger zone because now I know this brand makes both pretty and actually good things and I just have to guard my wallet and bank account from them. I'm not really like an impulse spender, so it takes a lot to kind of like swim through the moat and go through the gates into my personal finances. Um, but once you get there, you're there. <laughs> the defenses are down, the heist is on. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.